So you've had the cylinder head off of your 2.4 liter Toyota uh, engine and you want to know if the cam set up right and the timing chain set up right. I'm Brian Nessa from How To Automotive and I'm going to show you how I set so this up. So your timing chain is going to have three links on it that are painted or different color. Or in my case they're gold. But I went ahead and put a little white out on it so they'll stand out for the camera. They, uh, they didn't show it very well. This is the original chain on this car so I'm, re I'm reusing it. So I wanted to show you how I I had the cylinder head off and I wanted to show you how I set the cams up so you know that you got them right because on the uh, on the exhaust cam here it actually has three notches on it so I wanted to show you how to set it up um, but first we're going to start down at the bottom of the engine and we're going to set so the you crank to rotate the crank until the pistons at the top dead center and when you know you're there you'll have the uh, the little dot right here on the side will be kind of lined up with this little line on the uh, on this block here where the bearing cap for the crank goes so the dot will be lined up with that and then the uh, the keyway will be so vertical. You get your crank lined up then you're gonna put the gold chain that's uh, uh, correspondent to the uh, crank so you'll put that with the dot lined up with the dot and the way you know it's the the right one for the crank is uh, the two cam oh. and links are close together so you, when so the gold the two that are close together go for the cam and the one that's pretty far away that one's for the crank and sometimes it's actually painted a different color on so some I got chains. The dot lined up with my with the cam bearing right there like that. And I got my gold link on on the one with the dot. So now the we're gonna v, go up uh, the, the VVT cam, which is the intake cam. Um, there's a little wrench mark back here where you can put a wrench on and rotate it with. A 24 millimeter wrench will fit on it right here, and you can rotate the cam to, to get it up. So it has two marks on it one mark that, that only goes halfway through the the vvt valve and the other one goes through the vvt valve and onto the cam gear the one that goes all the way through onto the cam gear is the one you want to line up okay and there's a little arrow i, I put a little white out on it but there's a little arrow stamped into the uh, bearing cap here and you want that lot that slash mark to line up with that little arrow right there so once you got the the cam in line then you put the chain on with the link right on the on the slash mark the gold link and also if you look at the, uh, the the can lobes itself they're pointing kind of upwards that's indicating that the valves are closed so now on the exhaust side you want the valves to be closed also so like I told you there was three marks on here there's a uh, it just has a dot and then it has a dot with it word with the intake and a dot with the word exhaust or exhaust stamped on it. in this case you want the dot that doesn't have um, anything written on it to, to line up and there's a little tiny it, I kind of covered it up with my whiteout, but right on top of the uh, bearing cap, right next to the bolt, there's a little arrow right there. So you want that dot to line up with that arrow right there. And the way, and the way you know you got it set up right is the cam lobes are, are pointing upwards and the valve is closed. Both of the valves are closed. So, and uh, we're setting this up on the compression sto stroke. And when on the compression stroke, intake and exhaust valves will be closed. That way it builds up pressure when the piston comes up. So after you get that set up, then you can go ahead and put on your uh, your guide. And that's how you set up the timing chain on a Toyota 2.4 liter engine. I'm Brian Essek from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos. I encourage you to subscribe and uh, invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com uh, website for more valuable videos like this. Thank you again for watching.